What's up, family? Man, <laughs> I'm laughing because it seems as though these videos lately have been kind of rough. You know what I mean? Um, like I've been mad or something, and I'm not mad at all. You know what I mean? I'm, just, I'm in a great place emotionally and just spiritually and financially and physically. I, I am. I'm in a great place. And, man, family, I just share what God puts in my heart. You know what I mean? Um, and it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, I remember when I was a little kid, I would be at church and um, you would hear these people, man, pastor, preacher, man, pastor stepping on toes. Man, bishop stepping on toes today. Man, bishop done kicked in the house today. And what they were saying was that, man, whatever the sermon is, man, it's, it's hitting home. It's Man, it's on point, you know what I mean? Man, you stepping on my motherfucking toes today because you talking about my business, you know what I mean? You don't kick the my motherfucking front door. You know, you telling everybody my business, you know? And that's what they were saying, man. And man, it is what it is, you know? Um, we gotta grow up. We have to grow up. There's an old saying, um, if it looked like a duck, quack like a duck, and waddle like a duck, odds are it's a motherfucking duck. You know what I mean? And, and that's true to an extent. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. Because there's a whole lot in, I'm about to go in. <laughs> I'm about to go in again. I'm smiling, I'm laughing. It's, it is what it is. There's a whole lot of you motherfuckers running around trying to look spiritual. There's a whole lot of motherfuckers on YouTube and everywhere else trying to fake the motherfucking funk. There's a whole lot of motherfuckers up in church Faking the fucking funk. They nice suits, nice dresses, nice gloves, nice hats, nice fur coats, leather coats, and all this other bullshit. They ain't got no God in them. So a whole lot of motherfuckers on YouTube talking a whole lot of bullshit and ain't got no fucking truth, God, nothing up in them. They trying to get some shit from motherfuckers. You know what I mean? And it is what it is. You know what I mean? I make no apologies about the shit that I share. You know? You don't like it, click off the shit. Is that motherfucking simple? You know what I mean? But the truth be told, a whole lot of motherfuckers on here that's charlatans, a whole lot of motherfuckers up here is just, man, they fucking frauds. And that's sad that even these platforms now that should be here to help other help other people grow up, help other people deal with our fucking trauma and our pain and our suffering and learn how to let go of our bullshit. Man, we got to suspect, you know what I mean? We, we got to be suspect of these motherfuckers on here. You know what I mean? We got to be, mm, I don't know. But that's how it should be here anyways. You know what I mean? Every time we hear some shit, we should be like, all right, God, this is what this motherfucker talking about. Man. Is this for me? You know, is, is this resonating with my spirit? You know, and, and no matter whether it's a preacher, no matter it's me or anybody else you hear or see, man, take everything with them. You know what I mean? Take everything, not so much to heart, but take everything to, to God, source, universe. Like, man, is this in alignment with what I need in my life right here, right now? Because it may not be for you. And just because it's not for you right here, right now, don't mean that it won't be for you tomorrow. Don't mean that it won't be for you next month. Don't mean that it won't be for you next year. You just may not be ready for that message at that time. So don't dismiss it as, oh, that's a fraud. That's bullshit because that's not real. And that's not pertaining to my life. And that's not resonating with me. I don't make these these videos for for any one individual. You know what I mean? I make the videos because this is what God puts in my heart. And this is what I release. And it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um. And so we have to grow up and understand, hey, just because I don't get it right now, just because I don't understand it right now, just because I don't believe this right now, don't mean that it ain't real. It just means you may not be at a place emotionally, intellectually, spiritually to understand it, to grasp that. But there's a whole lot of fake motherfuckers running around here spewing a whole bunch of bullshit. They dressing apart. They got feathers everywhere, you know, they got crystals everywhere, you know what I mean? They got incense burning, they got sage burning, they got bells going on that they're dinging, it's ringing bells, and then they got all this shit, and all this great stuff, great tools, but it's not really reflective of who they are. It's a whole lot of stuff that, that the Bible talks about in that day. Jesus is saying, in that day, 
There's gonna be people that said, "Man, didn't we heal the didn't we heal the um the sick? We we fed the hungry. We visit those in prison. We did all these things in your name." Think about this for a second. They healed the sick. They had some power. In order to heal the sick, you got to have some knowledge. You got to have some 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 information. You got to be connected to something. These people healed the sick. They did a lot of quote unquote great things that made them look like they belong to God. They did a lot of great things that made them look like they belong to the to the crew, to the tribe, to the family. And what did Jesus respond? It's like, get the fuck out of here. I don't even fucking know you. I never knew your raggedy ratchet ass. You workers of iniquity. You harlots. You charlatans. I don't even know your motherfucking name. And I've never really understood that growing up. How could all these people do these great miraculous things and do these great things? And Jesus said, I never knew you. Depart from me. Because I thought, man, growing up, they made us believe, man, you got to be righteous. And you got to do all these right things in order to get to heaven. It's based pretty much on what you do. Man, you got to come to church. You got to pay your tithes. You got to do this. You got to do this. You got all this. You got this whole fucking checklist of what you're supposed to do. Feed the hungry, visit the sick, and da 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 da. All this shit you're supposed to do. And, these, and now Jesus is saying, in that day, you will have all these motherfuckers. I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. I did everything I was supposed to do. And I'm then, I, Jesus is like, man, <laughs> I bet, thank you. Now kick motherfucking rocks. You didn't do that shit on my behalf. You didn't do that shit because I told you to. You didn't do that shit because my daddy told you to. What's that got to do with today? It's a whole lot of fake motherfuckers running around trying to pretend they something that they ain't. Because there's just a lot of gullible people running around just, man, wanting some information. It's a lot of gullible people running around willing to pay money. Get some information. Help me get rid of this sickness. Help me get rid of this illness. Help me get rid of this addiction. Tell me about my love life. Is this motherfucker coming back to me? Is my twin flame coming back? Where's my twin flame at? And so people are willing to pay money, big money for all this information. And so you got all these motherfuckers running around. Looking like they pay, like they're part of the crew. Looking like they're connected to God. Looking like they're connected to source, the most high. And they fake as a $3 bill. We got to grow the fuck up. We got to be able to understand that. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Even the Bible, and not that I'm a Christian, I'm not a Christian, but even the Bible talks about, man, there's going to be a whole lot of motherfuckers doing some good stuff in that day. And they're workers of iniquity. They're not even connected to God. They're not even real about this shit. What is their fucking motive for doing that? See, that's something we don't see. See, I can't see your motive for helping people. No one can see that. But God, what we can see is your frequency. Your energy. And your energy don't fucking lie. See, everybody can't see that. 
everybody ain't tapped in like that to recognize and to be able to see frequency, see energy. Everybody ain't tapped in like that where, man, they could trust their intuition. And their intuition is telling them that this is a scam. Their intuition is telling them this motherfucker ain't shit. They talking to talk. If you look at them, man, they they putting out all these videos and they're this and that and that, but they ain't really about that life. There's a whole lot of motherfuckers getting up in the pool pit and preaching fire and hell and damnation and woo doo doo and righteousness and da 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 da. And these are some of the most twisted, psychotic, self righteous, <laughs> greedy ass motherfuckers walking the planet. They ain't really about that life they preaching about. They just know if they get up there and yeah, 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 y'all gonna fall in love and give them money. Y'all gonna do whatever the fuck they tell y'all to do. We gotta go the fuck up. That's the trick because going back to the beginning, people have always talked about wolves and sheep's clothing. The scammers. The frauds. The fake, the pretenders. And a lot of y'all, y'all pretending to be deeper than what you really are. A lot of y'all are really faking a funk. You walking around acting like you got a doctorate degree in spirituality. You walking around like your spirituality is on fleek. You walk around like you, you, you connected to source and y'all homies. That's your ride or die. And that the truth be told, he looking at you like, who the fuck is this bitch? Who the fuck is this sorry ass motherfucker? You doing all the yeah, 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 yeah. But when the fire comes up, you ask can't handle the fucking person. If my memory serves me correctly. I ain't looked at the Bible in, in years. But if my memory serves me correctly. There's a story in the Bible where these people were trying to cast out devils. They seen everybody else doing it. And, and the, de uh, the, 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 the evil spirits are like, man, Peter, James, and John, I know, but man, who the fuck are you? Where'd you get your fucking schooling at? Where'd you get your fucking validation at? Who fucking taught you? Who are you fucking connected to? What's written on your motherfucking resume? What fucking school did your ass go to? Because even the evil spirits, the demonic spirits, saw them as fucking frauds. Saw them as fucking fakes, as pretenders. We got to grow the fuck up. We got to grow the fuck up. And understand, man, it is what it is, man. You're going to have these type of people and you've always had these type of people. No different from freaking politicians. You've always had these type of people in religion, in medicine. You've always had these charlatans running around trying to sell you some shit to make you feel better, to keep the colds away, to keep the flu away, to keep the black plague away. You've always had these fucking hustlers and scammers. Tell me, this herb and this herb and this herb and this herb mixed together and it do all this stuff. And I'm not against studying herbs. I'm not against taking herbs. 
Matter of fact, it's some homemade tea right there. I don't knock this stuff. But you gotta know what the fuck you doing. There's a whole lot of motherfuckers that know a little bit of something, something, and they running around like they know a whole lot of something, something. And they're really full of shit. And they're preying off your fucking ignorance. Because you won't do your own fault. You, you won't do your own fucking due diligence. You won't study shit on your fucking own. You'll go to a fucking doctor and have them give you some fucking pills. You don't know what the fuck is in those pills. What the fuck the consequ consequences, side effects are for taking those fucking pills. But because he got on a fucking white lab coat and a fucking stethoscope around his fucking neck, you believe every fucking thing he tell you. You're willing to die on the fucking sword because of what this motherfucker told you. We got to grow the fuck up. We've got to grow the fuck up. Man. Everything that talk about spirituality ain't spiritual. Everything that talk about being connected to God, source, the universe, the most high, ain't connected to God, source, universe, the most high. Everything that talks about love and peace and joy and happiness ain't got love, joy, peace, and happiness. Ain't even connected to love, joy, peace, and happiness. Because if they was connected to love, joy, peace, and happiness, they wouldn't be doing the bullshit they're doing. We got to grow the fuck up. And you could only get discernment by understanding, man, okay, I got to be connected to the most high. I got to be connected to source so that way, that way I can understand fraud and see a fraud when I, when it comes. I can see a replica when it appears. When everybody else is buying into the bullshit, everybody else is buying into the hype. You can sit back with discernment and it's like, mm, okay. Let them do what they do. Let them get their 15 minutes of fame. Let them get their few years of fame. Let them get their millions and billions, whatever the fuck they gonna do. But the truth gonna come out. And I ain't got the hype, I ain't got to go snitch, I ain't got to say shit. Ain't none of my fucking business what the fuck they got going on. Ain't none of my fucking business what the fuck they doing. Or why they doing what the fuck they doing. Now, I ain't buying into the bullshit. And the people that's buying into the bullshit, that's part of their lesson. That's part of their growth and development. They're going to have to learn that everything that look like gold ain't gold. Everything that shine ain't real. Everything that look like a diamond ain't a motherfucking diamond. They're going to have to learn that. And it is what it is. My family, we got to grow up. We have to grow up. Man, we have to get busy. And, and not just, we got to get real about this shit. Stop just doing this shit and talking about this shit because it's the new fad. It's the new thing to do. Man, I'm gonna go viral talking about being a chosen one. I'm gonna go viral about that. I'm gonna go viral talking about tarot. I mean, I'm gonna get all these subscribers. All these people doing tarot cards. They got 50, 60, 70,000 people watching them. Da, da, da. Man, I'm gonna talk about Jesus Christ in the Bible. And I'm gonna get all these people bothering me because this is what they Man, who gives a fuck about that stupid shit? Stay in your motherfucking lane. Do what the fuck you came here to do. Stop worrying about everybody else. We got to grow up. We have to grow up. I hear so many people talking about, man, you should have so many more followers in what you do and all this. Man, I don't give a damn. I don't. It's nice. But I don't care. I don't get validation off of how many people support this channel. I don't. 
that doesn't feed my ego. That doesn't make me feel like, man, I'm accomplished. Why? Because when I started this platform, I didn't start it for anybody else other than my kids and my grandkids. That was it. That's the reason why I start this platform. Not for everybody else. It's great that other people want to subscribe. It's great that other people watch the videos. I'm humbled and blown away by that. But I didn't do this for them. I did it for my kids. I did it for my grandkids. So that after I'm gone, they can go back and do what they do with them. Maybe they can learn and grow from them. Everything other than that, man, is icing on the cake. It's a win-win. Stop getting caught up in the fucking numbers. Jesus, Joshua only had 12 disciples. 12. You ain't got to put shit on the fucking YouTube page, uh, channel, and you'll have more than fucking 12 su subscribers. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ain't got to talk about shit and you'll have more than 12 people following you. We got to grow up. We have to grow up. Man. Hope and pray that I said something to encourage you, to inspire you, to challenge your way of thinking. We have to grow up. One of the things I'm looking at doing is I used to do live streams. Um, and haven't done a live stream in it seemed like almost a year. Um, I'm looking at possibly getting back into that. I'm not sure yet. It's something that I'm meditating and praying about. Um, if that's something you guys would like, uh, man, just put something in the comments. Um, yes, do them or nah, just leave them as regular fucking videos. You know what I mean? Either way, it's the same thing to me. Man, I love you guys. I thank you for rocking out with me. Happy healing. Peace.